Well, since we are out of eclectics now, um, it's time to do something super exciting. This will be my first ever Barrows run, guys. First ever Barrows run on the account. I think my current runes are good enough. Like, I, I think the amount of runes that I have currently is good enough temporarily, at least. Um, this is why I did the Mortania Hard Diaries, so should be able to do it. Should be able to, man. Hopefully, let's go. We fucked him up. Oh man, are we gonna be lucky on our first Barrow's chest of the account? Oh my god! <laughs> Bar or Barracks plate skirt on the very first chest of the account. I'm not lying either. There's the number one. Well, are we gonna be as lucky on our second chest? Who knows? Let's find out. No, nope, not as lucky, but that's okay. We needed the death runes actually, and uh, I need 30,000 chaos runes as well for our onyx so both of those are very very welcome all right casey number three by the way if anybody is curious this is the current setup that i'm using I'm using proselyte because i don't really have any other tanky plate gear anyways plus i mean prayer bonus helps a little bit here i guess um i am using rune arrows for my range switch when we kill aaron and then I'm using the Mauritania three legs to teleport to Berg de Rot. So, yeah. I mean, I rarely ever use prayer potion doses either. Pretty much, basically, if it's Darok in the tunnel, I'll use a prayer potion dose. That's pretty much it. I like to, I'd much rather use my cheap ass slash easy to get food than any prayer potions at this point. Also, of course, we are using our shiny new wizard boots. So basically when I get another piece, if for example, if I get the flail, I'll click on the flail and it'll light up and then I'll retake another picture of it. I think there is an easier way to do it, but that's how I'm doing it. All right, next chest. Let's see what it is. Oh, I, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me right now? I literally just said, if it's a Vera, if, if it's a Varix flail, <laughs> If it's a Varix Flail, I can click on Varix Flail and it'll light up. Two items in 6KC, both in the Varix family. Fuck yeah, man. All right, let's go. Seagulls, give me luck. Torax Hammers. Okay, okay. Hell yeah. Let's try for the back-to-back -back here. As long as we don't fucking die. Come on, kill him. Yeah, okay. Can we get the back-to-back? Nope, no back to back, but that's okay. That's a lot of chaos runes. Like I said, I'm here for chaos runes. All right, here it is. We're coming up on our very first level of the Barrows grind. We have 78 magic now. Um, let's see if we get any luck on chest 23. Chest number, I think, 29. Look at how many fucking mind runes that is. Holy shit. I'll never use those. Chest number 29. Oh, rip. Oh, no. Oh, no, man. Doing Tears of Guthics this week. Pretty sure it's still going into rune. No, it's not. Into construction. I forgot. I would runecrafted all those astrals, so now we're 54 runecrafting. But free construction XP. Not going to complain. Holy shit. That's my first ever champion scroll. <laughs> and I got it getting kill count down here in Barrows. Uh, okay. All right. Gotta hurry up and snag this Barrows chest before I get wrecked. Barrows chest number 32. Oh my god. Get out of here. Oh my god. Yes. 
<laughs> the Guthans plate body man. Hell yes, dude. All right, let's try for the back to back. I've never had a back to back before. Yeah, I didn't think so, but that that's okay. All right, chest number 41 coming in. Open it up as soon as we get in here. Oh, damn. Another piece, guys. <laughs> 41. We have five uniques. Holy shit. Whoops. I, I th think I killed an extra skeleton on accident. Oh, well. All right. This is KC50. Let's see if we can get lucky on KC50. Not at all. Holy shit. Another 5K chest. Rip. All right, what what about this chest? Are we gonna get lucky at all? Oh my god! Oh my god! What the fuck? Another Varric's piece. We are one piece off of finishing the entire Varric set. One piece off. All we need is the Varric's helmet. We have the entire set. That is insane. What the fuck? All right, can we get the back to back? This will be our first ever back to back if we do. Go away, face. Ah, rip. No back-to-back. -back. That's all right. We just got uh, 77 strength, which put us up to 93 combat. Yeah, buddy. All right, so we are about to open up the infamous chest number 73. Let's see if we get any luck for chest 73. That's a lot of runes. I mean, I got all four different kinds of runes. 87k almost. Not bad. But yeah, that's really cool. They actually just updated the runes you get from barrows now they go directly into your rune pouch so yay quality of life open it up what do we get dude holy shit yes well this is gonna be the last barrows chest of the stream i think no it's not we just got the derox plate legs we have to go for the back to back now nope that's okay that's all right didn't really expect it. I actually just hit a really important crafting level, being level 75 crafting. I accidentally skipped through the uh, the level screen there, but we can now make Slayer Rings and Magic Bird Houses. That is extremely nice. Hopefully we can get some more Bird's Nest out of that, and eventually we can buy Slayer Rings when we get enough points. Got a little something collected up here to start off the stream with. We have a Dragon Impling. We have a Medium Reward Casket, a Hard Reward Casket, and an elite reward casket. I'm going to start off with the dragon impling. There's a possibility of getting another elite, which we did not. But we did get dragon arrows, which is really nice. I'll take those any day of the week. Uh, medium clue. What the hell? We got the wolf mask as well? Nice. That goes perfect with our wolf cape. That looks so nice. Here, let's scroll in on it. Fashion scape. On point, man. All right. Hard casket. A Guthics page. Do we have this Guthics page? We do not. We are one page off of all Guthics pages, which Guthics isn't necessarily an extremely useful book, but uh, it's better than nothing. And I actually need that for the master clue, I believe, that's in my uh, bank. Yeah. All right. Elite casket. Whoa. Whoa. I don't think I could kill the Mimic boss right now. I'm just going to say no. I do not think I can kill the Mimic boss right now. A Magic Seed, three Rune Plate Skirts, and a Dragon Dagger. All right, first chest of the week, actually. First chest of today's stream. Okay. Um, that's actually a, some good runes. Holy shit, 160k in runes. By the way, that is Barrow's chest number 90. All right, Skeleton, I need you to chill for a second so I can get that shit loot and get out of here. This is actually 100 kill count exactly. Let's see if we get lucky. And no. It's all good, though. We, I think we're still above the average KC. Here, let me see really quick. We have what? How many pieces do we even have? I forget. Three, five, nine pieces? Oh, yeah. We're definitely above drop rate. We're going to try and tank them just for the fun of it. Come on. Don't sl- oh! oh! I'm so glad I ate. He could- he could have still one-shot me there. Whew. Okay. Gimme, gimme. Something good. Fuck. Well, we got an exciting level coming in. 
Wow, we're three XP off. There it is. Our very first level 80 combat skill, 80 magic. All right, next chest coming up. Open it right up. Oh my god! Holy shit. <laughs> Holy shit. Carol's top. Hell yes. So we've actually got a piece out of every single set now. At least one piece out of every set. We're going for the back to back. Let's see if we can get it now. <laughs> of course not. Alright, get the fuck out of here for this skeleton kills me. Run! Okay, this, this could be bad, but hopefully it's not. Get through there. Fuck you skeletons. Open up the damn chest. Oh god. Get out. Get out. Whoo. Chest number 124. The- Oh my god. Yes. Oh shit dude. We're two out of four Guthans pieces. Chest number I think 127. Our first duplicate. Oh my god! Our first duplicate so far. I mean, that's really awesome. Uh, I mean, unfortunately it's a duplicate, but it is our first duplicate. In uh, we had 11 pieces with zero duplicates. That's, I cannot complain about that one bit. Wow, okay. So that is a record. Oh, uh, it's a shame we couldn't get 150, but we did get 149 tiers that run. RNG was with us for sure. It is going into construction XP, which is okay. It got us halfway to 53. Nice. I mean, I'll take the free construction levels. Ah. All right, let's see what the chest number three on today gives us. Another Derox Helm. No. A second duplicate. Fuck. All right, last chest of the day, unless, of course, we get a piece. And wow. Holy shit. What a chest. Chess number, I don't even remember at this point. An elite clue! Yay! I'll take it! Let's try this elite clue, guys. I'm excited. Ooh, rune crossbow, that would have been amazing a long time ago. Although, check that out. Look at how much my cash stack just increased. I think we're about to get a range level. Holy shit, 74 range. Thank you, Aram. 60, chess 166. Yikes. <laughs> hey, there you go, guys. The 5k chest, it's back. All right, next chest. Oh my gosh, a 6K chest. What the fuck, man? I don't know how much uh, sense this will make for everybody else, but uh, I decided to wait for stream to do this. It's my very, very last Molten Glass. 85 crafting. That means with a boost, we can now make the Amulet of Fury. And if you look at that, I took the liberty of going ahead and selling my 30,000 Chaos Runes and buying an onyx already so all i gotta do is get the level five boost and then we are gonna have to get the magic boost from raids as well because my magic isn't quite high enough it needs to be like 87 yeah i can't i can't regularly boost to that wait you can't boost in raids anymore since when all right basically now that i you're no longer able to uh boost your magic and raids to enchant items which i just found out about i am gonna have to get two more magic levels so that i can get a f plus five boost to enchant my fury but i do plan on making a shitload of air orbs soon so uh that shouldn't be too much of an issue and plus we're about to get into some uh slayer so we might be bursting cool stuff like that so Shouldn't take too long. We'll wait to even craft it and uh, boost for it whenever that happens. All right, let's pick up our first Slayer task in a little bit here. Dude, I'm so glad that you are doing great. Fossil Island Wyverns. Fuck. Holy shit. I didn't know that uh, these Wyverns could drop 12 seaweed spores at a time. That's actually insane. Well, we just finished up our uh, agility and alking grind. We did get level 72 agility, which was pretty cool. We ended with just over 7 mil, which is a new record for this account. It's pretty awesome. I'm probably going to put a very large chunk of that into Kingdom, so maybe I can leave it alone for like two months. 
something like that. All right, we're checking up on our kingdom for the first time. And I think it's been another month. We uh, dropped down to 735K. So it's a bit lower than the minimum, but that's okay. Uh, we did all that alking and agility yesterday. So we have seven mil. Let's just go ahead and collect. Let's see what we got. Collect resources. Another 4K teak logs, dude. Yes. Another 100 Renars. All the Erits. What seeds we got? Two Renar seeds, rip. That's basically it. But still, that's another about 500k construction XP. So I'm extremely excited about that. Some nice herbs there. I'm going to keep it on the same, but I am going to deposit... I think I'm just going to put like uh, 4.5 mil up in here. Leaves me a 2.5 mil. And uh, we have 5.2 mil in the kingdom at the moment. Seems pretty good to me. Just got 78 hit points. Was not expecting that. Oh uh, yeah, we got three caskets coming in. We have a beginner, an easy, and a hard casket. Probably won't get much out of this beginner. A <laughs> blue wizard rope. What about the easy? A willow comp bow and some studded body? Okay, okay. Um... Holy shit! What a clue! Armadillo chaps, Bando's dehyde body, which is an upgrade, and then a Guthix plate body. Holy shit! We actually went out and bought a cannon. We have a black demon task, so... Unfortunately, I am going to cannon it, and uh, I want the magic XP so bad that I'm actually going to use magic dark the whole time, too, so fuck it. Alright, so we have some caskets and a dragon impling here. Got a beginner casket, an easy casket, and an elite casket. Let's start off with the Impling. See if we can get another... Nope. Okay, so we got a Dragon Longsword, which is a good Alk. I'll take it. Start with the beginner. Black robes. What what loot there. We <laughs> From the easy... That's actually probably worth... Okay, 16k. Oh, because it's pest control teleports. Uh, it's cool that we got the black shield uh, H4, though. That's cool. All right, now... The best one, hopefully. The elite clue. If you, dude, holy shit. I'm actually about to get my fury and I already have the ornament kit. Holy shit, man. Yes. 1.8 mil on that one. Hard casket time. Let's open it up. Wait a second. Yes. The rune heraldic shield. That's what I'm talking about, man. Yes, that's our first rune heraldic shield, though. We'll be able to use that for some clues in the future. That's required for two different clues. One at the Agility Pyramid and one in the Karazi Jungle. So, won't have to drop those anymore. Actually, for right this moment, I believe we still have to drop the one in the Karazi Jungle because that requires a stole. And as you can see, we still don't have that. But, rune heraldic shield has been obtained. Hell yes. There it is, 82 magic. We can now boost to enchant our Onyx Amulet into a Fury. Hell yes, let me finish up this worm really quick, and then we're going to go camp some red spices for a bit. Chisel. Pretty sure I can go ahead and cut that. Cool. Put that up then. And <clears throat> now we can grab a bunch of stews. All right, there we go. Moment of truth right here. Let's see how many this takes. Crafting that literally did nothing. Nothing again. Is this the right one? This is making me think that it's not the right one. It is. Okay. Oh shit. That's it right there. Go, go, go quick. Hang in there crafting level. Make it quick. Yes. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, it just dropped. It just dropped to 89. Holy shit. That's it right there. Amulet of Fury, baby. <laughs> yes. That took quite a while. Let's check out the stats on this bad boy. Plus 15 in all defenses, and plus 10 in all attack styles. 
Five prayer and eight melee strength. Hell yes. Feels so good, man. I completely forgot about that. Thank you, Mole. Um, we do have the Fury Ornament Kit. <laughs> completely spaced it. Oh my god, that is my favorite necklace in the game. That looks so good. Favorite necklace in the game achieved already. We got the ornament kit just slightly before we got the fury itself. Thank you, Mole. I completely forgot about that, dude. Thank you all for watching another episode of the Iron King series. I also managed to pick up the Fury Ornament Kit for the Amulet of Fury that came soon after. I stream almost all of my content over on Twitch.tv and I can also be found on Twitter. Links to those will be in the description below. If you really want to catch more episodes of the series, please hit that red subscribe button down below. It really helps out the channel and I'd appreciate it so much. Thanks again for watching. If you're new to this series, you can start from the beginning by clicking on the playlist to your left. Until next time, peace. I cannot give you back your homes or restore your dead to life, but perhaps I can give you justice in the name of our king.